Hello and welcome from Budapest. This is Hungary Reports from Public Media M1, bringing you the latest news from Hungary and the Carpathian Basin in English. I'm Arpad Sertzi. Great that you can be with us. COVID-19 is still spreading rapidly in Hungary. On Sunday, 844 new cases were reported and five people died. That's the highest number of deaths recorded in one day since June. And the number of active COVID-19 cases is now more than 8,400. Testing continues nationwide by ambulance workers, who last week carried out several times the number of tests than they usually do. Other emergency staff are also now helping out so that those suspected of having coronavirus can be tested within 48 hours. Medical experts continue to point out that wearing a face mask is one of the most effective ways of stopping the pandemic. That's why a number of corresponding precautionary measures are going into effect. For example, starting on Tuesday, you cannot travel on the state railway system or on the national bus line without wearing a face mask. And starting in October, students will have their temperatures taken every day before being allowed to enter school. Furthermore, anyone going for their annual free flu shot will also first have their temperature taken. However, the COVID-19 test is not free. Its price will be determined by the government on Wednesday. And more rules for wearing a face mask in the capital Budapest will also be introduced. That was decided in Parliament with those measures expected to go into effect on Friday. For example, it will be a mandatory to wear face masks at theatres, concerts and at circus performances, as well as in enclosed areas with other events and even at condominium owner meetings. Those who don't follow the rules could be fined on the spot 8,000 forints. That's about 22 euros. Hungary and its economy has every chance to be among the winners in the new global economic era. That's what the country's foreign affairs and trade minister said after meeting with British Member of Parliament Liam Fox in Budapest. Peter Siarto said that the new system should be unrestricted, free and fair. He added that Hungarian enterprises should also be able to take part in this international competitive environment without impediments and restrictive measures. Starting now, anyone can find out online details about Hungary's casualties in the First World War as well as those soldiers taken prisoner by checking out a new database. The website was introduced by the Parliamentary State Secretary of the Ministry of Defense. Szilard Nemet pointed out that this kind of military information is also of national importance. The database took more than eight years to compile and contains information on more than one and a half million Hungarian soldiers. And that's all for now from Hungary Reports. We're back live every night at about 11.20 p.m. Central European time. And you can always catch us in repeats and online. Thanks very much for watching. And please remember, wear a face mask when you're at work and traveling. And stay healthy. Minden Jot.